the lord is speaking to us so there is something that we need to notice here jesus says you know mountain means it can be block a bondage a block an obstacle can be called mountain when you live if you find mountains blocks obstacles in front of you normally what we do is we cry about it we pray about it we complain about it we go around and tell everyone about these and say there is a problem there is a block there is a bondage i don't know how to overcome it please help me please pray for me and uh, i am also trying my best and i'm doing fasting i'm doing penances please help me this mountain is blocking me i can't proceed so all these things are going to be worrying us but what does jesus say jesus says when you see this mountain when you see an obstacle when you see a bondage when you see something blocking you you say to this block say to this mountain speak to the mountain so that is something that we all need to remember speak to the mountain instead of speaking about the mountain speak to the mountain speak to the block speak to the bondage speak to the you know the um, wind storm when wind storm was beating into the boat jesus commanded the wind storm and said stop and it stopped he didn't say father heavenly father please have mercy and stop the wind storm he didn't say that he said stop he stopped the wind storm stopped he commanded the devil to get out came out so jesus says if you say to this mountain they will obey he rebuked the wind when jesus went entered into the family of Uh, 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 peter peter's mother in law was sick and jesus rebuked the fever and said fever move go away from him go away from her and then she was healed instantly so jesus was commanding to the sickness commanding commanding to the uh, spirit commanding to the mountain commanding to the things so this is how we need to do so in the name of jesus command to the mountain command to the mo- blocks command to the hindrances to go away it will happen praise the lord so if you say to this mountain be taken up and thrown into the sea and if you do not doubt in your heart but believe that what you say will come to pass it will be done for you first believe in your heart that what you say in the name of jesus what you say it will come to pass it will be done for you praise the lord thank you jesus some time back one lady called and she had she was pregnant and she went to the hospital and she's uh, doctor said there are some complications and uh, so even the, this uh, uh, she she came for her uh, husband and wife both of them they came for retreat here they were not having a gift of child for many years and they prayed and they attended the retreat and went back within one month they she became pregnant and then she was so happy and she called and said father god has blessed me and i'm pregnant now after so many years is a big blessing and she was so happy because she, we had given her to repeat some word of god and she repeated the word of god and she got the gift of this child praise the lord through the power of repeating the word of god in the name of jesus she prayed and the lord has blessed her and then after some time after come some weeks she called and said father please pray for me i spoke to the doctor and doctor said there are some complications there will be a miscarriage so before this incident before the, she spoke to about spoke to me about this i had told her since you got the gift of child why don't you give your testimony and that is when she said father doctor said some complications they may have miscarriage so let me wait and see whether this is going to be a miscarriage or not if not i will give the testimony then i told her don't wait for the miscarriage just thank the lord for what god has given you if god has blessed you with a gift of child and if you know that you have a child in the womb thank god and testify it don't wait for anything else just start thanking god and testify it and she said father please wait i am not i am not sure of it and then i said okay you, i'll give you some word of god for you to repeat and i gave her some word of god i knew that she is afraid and she so scared that she 
uh, and she is so scared that something is going to wrong something wrong is going to take place in her life so i told her to repeat this word of god isaiah 41:10 isaiah 41:10 we read like this and i told her repeat this word of god every day morning afternoon evening isaiah 41:10 says do not fear for i am with you do not be afraid for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my victorious right hand and she prayed she prayed morning afternoon evening and after one or two weeks she called me and said father i went to the doctor and the doctor told me the problems are increasing the complications increased and it is better to go for abortion the doctor is suggesting abortion otherwise it is going to harm me i will my life will be at risk then i told her don't ever go for abortion and please do repeat the word of god i'll give you one more word of god and i gave her joshua 1:9 and said repeat this word of god don't worry don't be scared don't be worried about it just repeat it every day morning afternoon evening and she agreed and the word of god says joshua 1:9 i hereby command you be strong and courageous do not be frightened or dismayed for the lord god is your with you wherever you go so i told her to repeat this word of god morning afternoon evening and she repeated this word of god morning and afternoon evening every day and after some weeks she called me and said father doctors are so doubtful about this birth and i am in big problem and doctor said you have to tell us bef- soon and it is better to go for abortion and all these kind of things and complications are increasing then i said no you are not supposed to do the abortion and then she said father if it is risking my life that teach the bible i mean catechism of the catholic church if it is risking the life of the mother uh, if we can do abortion it's permitted so i said my dear sister it is your child it is not someone unnecessarily intervened in your life it is your child and it is better to sacrifice your life for your child your friend or your child it is better jesus himself there is no greater love than sacrificing one's life for others when i said this she said father you can say this because it is not you who are pregnant i am pregnant and i am going through this crisis then i told her my dear sister as a priest this is the only thing i have to say and this is what god wants me to tell you so don't worry i will give you one more word of god then she said father it is because of your words that you gave me the problems are increasing so i don't want and she was upset i said don't worry calm down and i consoled her and i said okay i'm not giving you extra word of god but at least repeat the word of god which i have already given to you just trust in the lord even if you die for your child you will go to heaven it's a sir it's a martyrdom all those who are martyred will never go to purgatory but will go straight to heaven so, so accept this martyrdom and you will be blessed and you will uh, intercede for the whole world and i was giving her some hope and some kind of convictions and she was happy and she went back and after some time and she went on after some time she was disturbed she used to call every day every time and cry and scream and pray and then come down and then go back so something like this was continued at the end the date came and the doctors admitted her one almost to two weeks before the date and because everyone was uh, uh, worried about the complications and uh, problems but by the grace of god everything went smoothly without any complication and she gave birth to the baby without any problem and she brought the baby here for the baptism my dear brothers and sisters this and at the end she everything was happy everything was normal everything went on smoothly praise the lord and then one day after the birth after the birth of the baby one day she called me and and cried and said now what is your problem what is now what is the problem now and then she said father i can't believe that my baby is so cute and i can't believe that i thought of com- uh, ab- aborting my child i can't believe that how could i think of aborting such a cute baby my dear brothers and sisters when the baby is in the womb we don't think of anything else we are just thinking about aborting something 
but when baby is in our hand we are so shocked to see we were supposed to be aborting this baby so cute baby so many people when the baby is in the womb we think we are just getting rid of getting rid of something in the from the body it is not we are just getting rid of a cute baby from our womb so this is why she was crying she even thought of it that's why she was so feeling so guilty and crying in front of and uh, i said don't worry i'll give you one word of god and i told her just to be consoled and she, uh, i gave some word of god and she repeat all those word of god and she got consoled my dear brothers and sisters in this story what happened until the last moment there was a big block big mountain in front of her she knew she is going to die and i told her be a martyr and that uh, somehow maybe because she didn't think much therefore she just believed and she continued at the last moment all these mountains just disappeared and she gave birth to the baby peacefully without any complication and now she is thanking god for all what god has given her my brothers and sisters this is exactly what jesus said when you walk when you move you will see mountains in front of you don't look at the mountain and run back but move forward and you say to the mountain be taken up and be thrown into the sea it will obey not may not, may not be the first day when you said this may not be the second day when you said this may not be the third day when you said this but the day when you reach there it will be taken up so this is very important we want everything to be cleared first and then we want to start the journey you start the journey when you reach there it will be cleared so this is always remember you know when some ladies were going to the the tomb of jesus when jesus was buried in the tomb these ladies were discussing among themselves on the way who will remove the stone for us there is a huge stone at the kept at the entrance of the tomb of jesus so they needed support some men to carry the stone and remove the stone so they knew these ladies can't remove the stone so they knew it is impossible for them and therefore on the way they were discussing among themselves who will remove the stone who will remove the stone who will remove the stone though they had this doubt and confusion but they did not stop their journey they did not run back they did not run after people to get help but they moved forward they proceeded their journey when they reached the tomb of jesus they saw one something the stone is already removed the stone is already removed and somebody is sitting on the stone and there was an angel was sitting on the stone and gave a good news he is not here he is resurrected the stone which was blocking them became a pulpit for the good news so today when you see a stone that is blocking you a mountain which is blocking you tomorrow you will stand on this stone you will stand on this mountain and proclaim the good news of god good news of the kingdom today's block is tomorrow's pulpit my dear brothers and sisters today's stone today's mount mountains are going to be tomorrow's pulpit on which you are going to stand and preach the gospel and good news and encourage thousands in their faith so this exactly what happened to this lady and you know how many i have said this testimony of this lady many times and and she must also must be telling the same stories to many people my dear brothers and sisters if god has since god has done these things in our life and she has become a testimony for thousands of people so today when you hear this you are also getting the con- the conviction that we just need to believe in god just proceed with faith and when you reach the place the mountain will be already removed we don't need to cry about the mountain before even come closer to the mountain so this is something that we need to remember my dear brothers and sisters that is why jesus said we read gospel of mark chapter 11 verse 24 20 uh, tw- uh, 22 we read like this 22 we uh, read like this jesus answered them first he said jesus answered them have faith in god believe in god have faith in god and then he said verse 23 
truly i tell you if you say to this mountain be taken up and thrown into the sea first of all before you go and stand in front of the sto- uh, uh, maybe stone or mountain and say be taken up and thrown into the sea first thing that you need to have believe in god have faith in god believe in jesus christ believe that jesus has saved you jesus died for you jesus blood has saved you you are a resurrected person and you belong to the resurrected body of christ you belong to the salvation so believe this and then with this faith as if as as a child of god as you belo- be, belong to jesus you command you believe and repeat the word of god you pray you command to the mountain it will be done for you praise the lord thank you jesus many people just because you said you hear these you may say you may command to the mountains and command to everything but is blocking you but remember make sure you believe in jesus believe and accept jesus as the lord and savior believe jesus as the lord who came and died for you who shed blood for you paid the price for you paid the ransom for your sins and believe it and then you command it will be it will happen in your life praise the lord let's close our eyes and kindly stand in the presence of god and declare our faith believe in god the father son and the holy spirit and as we believe let's also declare our faith in front of everyone